Hello, this is a tutorial about strings. Actually, we are talking about C strings. This is a C++ tutorial, but we are talking about C strings because even C++ strings are based on C strings. So it's good to know what is a C string. A string is basically a sequence of characters and we we were talking about characters in the in the in the other video. So it's it's a it's a it's an array of characters and so because it's an array of characters we cannot we gonna put the type here character so each item of the array will be a character and this, this is the name of the of the array or string we could say and uh, this one tells the computer that we are creating an array with six items and this one will initialize all the items in the array. So the first item will be character H, second one will be character <coughs> E, sorry, <coughs> and the last one will be character, character nil. This nil character is a special character, it ends the string. So the, com so the program knows that the string has ended when it reaches this one. We can look at this character from here, from the website ASCII code and the first character here is a nil, nil character so it's this one it's this nil character and it's, its integer value is zero actually so this is a zero, zero this is stored as a zero when the computer stores this data to the RAM memory so this one is stored as a zero So if we print this, obviously it should print hello, hello if it works, and we can see it works. The C out is able to understand this this string. So let's talk about this this end 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 of this string one more time. All these uh, functions which are which are taking these strings as a parameter. For example, this C out is taking this this string. How does it know when to stop printing printing these characters? It, it's this nil nil character. It will stop right there. So, for example, if we want to stop here instead, I could put like this. I could put this nil here, and now it will print only this two because it, this will end the string. Let's see that it works. So when I run this, as we can see, it will only print the first two because this nil is ending this this string. The C out will stop printing when it finds this this nil. Th there is another way to initialize uh, this this uh, string. Let's put this one back to back to L. First of all, uh, like with all arrays, we don't need to tell the size when we are initializing it. The the compiler is able to find out how many items we have. So this is identical to the one I just saw. But there's another way to initialize, which is a nicer nicer way. Uh, with arrays, we can initialize like this. This is exactly the same thing. When we, uh, this is called string literal. This one here. When we use this string literal, the the program will automatically add what, uh, this, the nil item at the end of the character, end of the string. It will allocate memory this one plus one more. So it will be one, two, three, four, five plus one. So so the program will allocate six six items and it will automatically put the last item to be nil. So that it, it's a, it's a string. So all these functions then know that it's a string and where to end it. And let's now go and see in the memory how it looks like. This is how it looks like. So we are creating a greeting, greeting, mem a greeting string. Hello. 
and so there are two ways to create this string um, um, here so it's uh, this is how, how it's in the memory so it's like a normal array so they just go go to these memory blocks like this and this last one here is the nil character which ends the string and um, so the length of the string we call that the we say that the length of the string is is this one so the length of the string is 5 but the size of the array is 6 because we have to remember that uh, there is this nil character also which we don't see when we print but it, it needs to be there anyway okay and then we can use a helper function to know what is the size of the array there is a way to know that in, in C language there is this um, this one I copy it here there is this function strlen which uh, which returns the length of the string actually what it's doing it's 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 finding the nil character and then it it's it, it loops this one by one and when it wa finds the nil character it will stop and it, it it has counted how many items it had before the null character and it will print it so if we run this now it will return it sorry if we run this now as we can see it prints hello and then it prints the size of the string which is 5 hello is 5 now if I if I put this nil character in the middle here let's see now and I run so now we get hates e and 2 so it's a this strlen is able to see how how long it really is it's not returning the size of the array the size of the array by the way remains 6 here but we can do tricks like this we can we can change the change sorry sorry we did add here one more by the way <laughs> so in this case the size probably is 7 because it will add one more here anyway so so why are we using this one more thing here why are we using this special character nil character why can't we just use zero what uh, zero here well if we put zero here it would not work put zero here it will just print zero here it will not stop this string here so this this one is a special uh, special combination here this is a one character and it will mean that this is a nil character it will end the string okay thank you for watching this video